Well, one owner car guy, and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful one owner 1972 Ford LTD with the 429 in it. Oh man. And check my eBay ad, be sure on everything. I'm gonna do an update on it. I didn't have my paperwork file over there. And I got a this one in a convertible. I got a one owner and a two owner, and I'm pretty sure this is the one owner and the other's a two. This thing is just clean as can be. I don't believe it's had any paint work and such. And I'm gonna go up close and show you everything like that in a second. I give you a once around here like I always do on this channel. And make sure and check my channel. I do all sorts of clean one and two owner cars, trucks, SUVs, low mile stuff. And I sell them cheap. And I like the stuff that ain't the super duper pooper scooper road chicken super dodge charger challenger or the super duper Shelby Cobra. Man, I ain't trying to sell no $100,000, $150,000 car. I'm trying to sell you a good valuable car that's an investment car and can go up in value. Um, that's one of the major things I look for in these kind of cars is something that'll be able to go up in value. Now it's Sunday and I'm trying to get help here to answer some phone calls in between. And there we go, we've got it. So, that's your once around. I'm gonna run up close now and show you the underneath. And um, you can see a little bit of that. I love them turbine style hubcaps. Man, I'm gonna need that foam back before I leave. I love them emblems. California blue plate. And underneath this thing is clean as can be. Look at that. It's just absolutely beautiful. Not all rusted out or nothing. Not leaking and dripping all over. And to be fair, you look and you go park it in your garage for a month. I'm sure you find a damp gasket or something somewhere. Who knows? But it is not a leaker. Just nothing like that. You can tell. It ain't been all strewn all down it or nothing. Strewn! Pans are tight and clean as can be. This is one nice car. That's all there is to say about it. Well, I love these rocker panels too. They're in great shape. Some dings on the door here. I'll show you that kind of stuff in a second. Got a tow package. With the lights, the brakes, and the whole deal, baby. And then up under here, you can see it's definitely clean. It's definitely got the suspension and drive line for it. I mean, it's a truck coupe. A truck coupe. Yes, sir. -y. The chrome on it's all good and all that. Nice car. Ding in the bumper there. And I'm going to kind of shoot around it and show you what I need to show you when I get done here. Uh, my name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. And now I'm going to go up close and show you any minor dings, damages, blemishes, and stuff like that that I need to show you. And I try to show everything. I'm trying to motion to get my phone back too at the same time. So, going down this side, it's a very straight car. I do not believe it's in any way been painted. Little scuffs right there that you can see. And a ding. And that's the worst that you find on it, is a few dings. Um, chip here or there. Like, here where the paint chipped. Got a little corrosion, but there's no rust through around this window. As clean as can be. That's the worst of any corrosionary type stuff on it. Um, paint is smooth as can be. I totally believe that this thing has been garaged its whole life because of how clean it is. Um, little scuff, scratch, ding type thing right there. A couple chips along it. A little scratch right there. A couple chips right there. I'm going to try and go back at this a different way. Like so. A little bit right there. And like I say, man, I don't know. Now look at that. That's wax. Yeah. I don't think it's been painted. No way to tell for sure. They sure can't do a good job on it. But just these few little scratches and stuff, everything looks original to the year. That's the worst dinged up pipe type part on it. Little areas on the bumper right there. <coughs> little dent. With some scrapes. <coughs> Excuse me. 
broke the tee with a little dent right there. <laughs> Woo! I knew that was coming. Ding. A little scratch, ding, scratch. God, it's so bright I can't look at it. There was another ding on there somewhere, but it's not that big. God, that's bright. Wheels are great. Her hubcap covers. Um, a little tear in that piece right there. Sure is straight. Let's give you a look at the top. Okay. Nathan, 406-544-6919. www.beaglespocket.com. Yes, sir, Ree. Breeder! Breeder! No, you see me now? Sorry, I got that all off. She's like, hey, I'm watching people. Richard's out there in his van. I'm keeping an eye on him. So, back to this 72 car, baby. This car is sweet. Sure is sweet. Going down this side, it's... Pretty much the same way, just some small little scuffs. Right along the top of the fender here. Paint's worn a little thin. Chrome's all in good shape. Could be shined up even more. Um, you get some dings, like... Little dings in there. Um, God, the stainless and chrome on this car. Going around all the windows and everything. Just in great shape. Um, your windows around around the front, great shape. All your logos and such, your candles. God, it's beautiful. Around your windows, just wanted to show you again. I believe this thing's just been inside its whole life. Even that piece still there. All your trim's good. Last one I had was a '72. It wasn't a Torino. Oh, an Elite. Yeah, there you go. Went to Germany, I believe. So that's your once around, that's your twice around. Here's looking at your dings in the back. Probably turned a little too sharp with something on it. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and then right here. So not that bad, easily done and fixed if you were restoring this thing. Restoring this thing? Buddy, I just drive this thing, that's all there is to it. These tires were not put on this car very long ago. As far as mileage goes, you got little titties all over the side, but there is a little bit of dry rot in the tread. Much more than around town just kind of cruising to Walmart, and I'd think about consider putting a new pair on them, or set pair. Well, there you go. That's your once around. That's your twice around. www.oneownercarguy.com And we're gonna go around the block and show you this thing. Around the block's about all we're gonna do. So I don't think I got my dealer. But, oh, I got it in my backpack. That should work. Okay, well, here we go. Now, wait till you see this. If you haven't seen the one on the other channel, the, so the short preview, this is all new to you, well, then you've missed out. Yeah, buddy. 429. Hot! How do you like that? Huh? It ain't gonna let me do nothing. It ain't gonna turn that off. Would it suck to have to do this the whole time with that? I think I'm gonna. I don't think it's gonna go stop. Well, that's interesting now. It wants my seatbelt fastened. How do I do that? Well, it's a cinch that I didn't want to unroll this. Oh, it's down here. I'm a dork. Got it! It's got the shoulder strap thing up here and the one down there. I didn't want to unroll that one, but I figured it out here, and now you don't have to listen to the annoying bubble. Bubble? Try buzzer, Nate. 
Bree is like, where are you going? Wait, come back. Okay, well, we're gonna do it to it here. Let's go, baby. We gotta get out here and merge with these people. It's emergency. Plenty of power. I just started it up a minute ago. Take a second to warm this puppy up. But it is just a nice, clean, smooth driver. God, it floats down the road. And you can tell there's so much power in this motor. Um, I've got to admit that I do have a little bit of a lead foot sometimes. And it's really hard for me not to just get on it, you know? But I try my best here in these times not to do such a thing. Just every once in a while a little something to keep it under the speed limit. Hey, let's, ooh, a little step side C10. You know, the step sides seem to be more beat up than the regular ones. The rarer something is, the more beat up it usually is. The same thing goes for this. Usually a coupe is kind of beat to heck. And the ones you find that are nice are the four-door sedans. I have a convertible Galaxy 500. Oh yeah, it's all there, buddy. That is like right up to 40. do that again. It's a nice car. It really runs good. It is really clean. And I'm sure that if you're looking for one of these, yeah, it's 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 all cleaned out now. Once around the block, we'll warm it up. A um, little cold-hearted, man. We're getting the gas pumped up to it at first. You hear the tires just starting to spin. Been in them. It didn't sound like my tire sounded, but. And you're getting a double test drive! Double test drive? Well, why would he do that? He would do that because he's having a good time driving this car. Um, it is such a nice feel to the way this thing steers and all. And if you want to get on it and peel out, believe me, you can. Because it's all there. And if you wanted to do it around this corner, it would it, it, it would peel, man, as much as you want it to. Well, I'm going to take it downstairs to where you can get a look at it in the, the shadows. What a car. Got that metal rattle gate thing out there. And get loose on my driveway. Well, this is going to be about all I get to do to show it just because of the way things are set up right now down here. Um, so we'll put it like this and just hope for the best. It is not going to be easy for you to see. I got to get better. Hang on. I just looked in the back seat and I was like, wow. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. I said, wow. Okay, here you go. See, this might be a... It is, it's a... not as bright of a day. So I'm going to have to get this out here in a different light. There you go. To where you can actually see the interior. Which is definitely my goal here. Absolutely beautiful. This is the seat belt I had to pull out. Let's see if it auto retracts. It sure does. All the way. It's not wanting to do by itself, but it's about perfect. In fact, that's what then there for a little bit. And a little slice there. Here. But, buddy, I'm here to tell you. Look at these seats. 
Where's the tear? Right there. And I could get that fixed if you wanted, but I don't want to fix nothing on this. The faces are aces. The faces are aces? Where'd you get that at? I don't know. I don't know. Headliner is in great shape, and I want to show you that although it's in great shape, a little separation there, a tiny bit there, but look how tight it is around the windows and all. Back seat, it's not all rotted out up top like they get, all of them usually get. I 99% believe that this thing's just been in a garage somewhere. Um, 109. Newer Ford radio in it. <clears throat> um, cool stuff, man. It's got the trailer brake, and it works with the with the adjustable settings. Um, AC, yes, sir. Look at this. No wear. None. We didn't even clean this up. Amazing. A little bit of fuzz, fuzzier wear right there. A couple of little stains. If you shampooed it, I'm sure something would look better. But it's got gravel on it for me, just for my shoes. These are cool little inserts. Um, this still works. You have to do it to pull the seat back. So that's kind of cool. Carpet's in good shape. A couple of little stains, you'll see. Backs of the seats, good shape. This is an absolutely beautiful car. And it's in great shape. I know I've probably said that before, but you kind of run into a, did I say this? Or You don't want to just be showing it and not saying nothing. And I can't tell you how many were made and such. I know not many. I can't tell you if this is a Brome model or just a regular LTD or if it was a sport model or I don't know what you had to order to get the, um, to get the 429. Um, little plate here, it's supposed to have a plate on it, I believe. That swings kind of like a Cadillac or Lincoln cover. Okay, low level light adjustment. Let's do this thing. Spare tire and all the stuff. Jack back there behind it. Nice carpeting of original stuff. All speckle coated right to the fenders. Not all rusty or anything like that. This is in great shape. All your original relays and such in here. Um, awesome. That's so cool. It's just in great shape. Tire chains. Got some tire chains in case you run into an issue. Um, it's not all rusty under this. It's absolutely beautiful. That's all there is to it. It's not even got the factory glue broken up. In fact, that little cardboard insert they put in them. Wow. Too cool, man. Clean as can be. Clean as can be. I got a minute and 46 left. Thank God. I freaked out there. I thought I dumped them. Well, there's your outside looking at it. I'll try and get you the same from the front. But I'm going to go ahead and stay in this interior mode. Door panels. Just beautiful. Got the original owner's manual. The dash isn't all messed up and cracked up and none of that, but there is a small a hairline fracture. <laughs> it's not unlevel, but you got that right there. A little discoloration when it gets to the edge. God, it's been indoors, man. I love that dash. It just looks beautiful. And the color. Oh, man, it pops. Factory. Owner's manual. I don't know if you can even see that at the angle my camera gets it, but let's get this out here. Cool stuff. There's a little slice in it here, so you might want to be careful when flipping through it, but super cool to have all this. I got about 25 seconds left. Little wear there from the keys hanging. Show you the floor over here. That's a little hole in the carpet. And look at this, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I'll put the rest in here right now. 20 minute limit, yes sir.
in between or after my video or whatever, if I remember or see something that I forgot, man, I'll edit it in. I won't retake when I mess something up and misspeak and make myself look like a dork. But when I miss something, I like to show it. And it's all over this. Right there. That little ding right there. And it's kind of little. Let me see right there. I can't see that really. But you can see that ding. And I just wanted to get back out here and show you that and make sure that you knew there's no ding on it. Now I'm sure I may have missed a little tiny ding here or something. There a ding there. Dingy ding ding ding. But God, it's beautiful, it's original, and it's for sale. I don't know how long it'll be till it reaches eBay or reaches my website, but if you're viewing this video, call me, Nathan, 406-544-6919. You're not gonna find a better container, better priced rig if you're looking for one of these old LTDs. Thanks for watching. Don't know if this will be at the front or the back or the middle of this video, but it's somewhere. We'll see it. Well, like I said, 20 minute limit and I don't do very many retakes or anything like that and all blah, 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 and mess up what I say an awful lot because of that sometimes but I wanted to make sure and show you the interior and see that that there has that hole in it I don't even know if you can see it here there we go that they get from having that light on just just normal wear one of them old forward lenses like that normal wear is not to be seen on these seats though uh, that's all there is to say about it. Beautiful shape. We're a little thin right there, maybe. I don't know. It's not all ripped or nothing. That's for sure. God, it's beautiful. Okay, under the hood is where we're going next. The chrome is just beautiful on these mirrors and such. Okay, let's see. How do you do this one? There we go. This. Hang on, I gotta hang this around my neck here. There we go. 429 4V. Yeah, baby. And this one is clean. Missing that little piece that the go between. AC actually blows cool, but not ice cold. And I can't, I mean, it is cold. But I can't tell because it's that time of year around here and it's just as cold as stinking 35 degrees outside in the morning and it don't really warm up. Look at how clean that is. Look at that. Once again, it's Nathan, 406-544. 6919 and com. This is just one of those one owner cars that you just, it's beautiful. Look at that dual horn folders. <laughs> Motocraft! Every once in a while you see frams on these, and I think people, Ford air conditioner, maximum off rating charge. Yeah, man, it's all free and just rub the skin off my knuckle on that thing. God, this is in great shape. It really, 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 really is. I'm taking it back upstairs now to say goodbye. And I was wondering, is there anything else on this side? There is not. And these hinges could use just a little bit of adjustment. Um, they're just a tad loose when you close the hood and you give it the proper thing there and it goes right down and looks great. Um, but it need to be pushed down a second. See, there's another ding I couldn't see because of the sun. Hope you can. I'll show you the rest there. Again. Well, Nathan, 406-544-6919. And we'll talk to you. I don't think of anything else to show you on the car. Um, I gave him my phone number. OneOwnerCarGuy.com BeaglesPocket.com Hardner.com StockGambles.com Check some of them out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.